Landry, what's wrong with you? You looked drained. Yeah, I have something on my tail and it won't come off. See? Ah! Yuck! Landry, what is that? I think it's some sort of fungus. That's awful. Please, stay away. Relax. I think I'm okay. And besides, Big Gray Squirrel got it worse. Oh, I don't feel well at all. I think I'll just go over here now. On the table today, Fungus, fungus Among, among us. us. Fungus Among Us. Fungus Among Us. Fungus Among Us. Say that too many times. As soon as I saw these on a Toys R Us end cap, I dropped all the Pretty Little Liars Attack Team Ninja set that I was just about to buy, and immediately picked up as many of these fungi as I could. You see, back in the 1740s, I used to collect a series of toys called germs. They were enlarged, squishy plastic microbes inside test tubes and were pretty neat. And to this day, I don't think anyone has ever reattempted in such a way. Maybe Trash Pack. So I see these fungus among us us and I immediately have to play. As you can see, I picked up several different versions of Batch 1. Plenty of different ways to collect your fungus. Let's look at these a little bit closer. Let's start off by opening up this Fungus Among Us vac pack, including five fun guys with a special fun guy inside. I believe most of these toys are only at Toys R Us, too. Like pretty much all mini toys of the day, collect about 10,000, right? And there they are outside of the resealable plastic pack. They are definitely squishy. A little bit sticky, pretty colorful, and creepy. These are totally interesting. Kind of like a wacky wall crawler material, I would say. Wash in warm water if they get too dirty. Do not drop them on a shag carpet. Sticky enough to even stick to a wall. Buy enough of these and you can really torment someone. <laughs> Definitely not edible. <coughs> Interesting little guide in the pack. Oozy, digital, tropical, wild, body, friendly foodie, specials. Find all 70 special fun guys. Oh my goodness, who has time for that? Uh, wow, so neat little guide for batch one. This was a clever packaging, a little sort of petri dish-like container. Two fun guys inside. This again reminds me of my germs collection back in the day. Kind of make out fungus among us and print it on this. The right light. There you go. Can you see it? All right. Who's it going to be? <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. I like the white ones a lot. I don't know. They're kind of like foamy. Really disgusting. Something you would see growing on something. This guy is really great too. This looks like a He-Man villain. That one where they're all like pulling the guy like this way and that way and he's like, oh, stop it. Oh my goodness, these are so clever. Then we have the Fungus Among Us Mega Pack. Most of these are 99.9% .9 gross, by the way. Contains 10 fun guys, three hidden specials. Also a Petri dish like pack, very funny. On the back there, all the things you want to collect. Let's rip this out. This package, not so reusable. I guess you can kind of place them in there for display. Why not? Uh, here's your specials first. Oh my goodness. Have we seen that guy before yet in a different color? Yeah, we've seen this guy. Oh, I like the green one. Wow, that is creepy. So the star of this set has to be this guy, this green growth algae looking thing. I didn't even know what this is. There's like a lot of like things going on here. It's like a intestine spider or something, a brain spider. Little cute little mouth sorts. That looks like something uh, your Listerine should take care of. This guy is also just, what is this? Honorable mention would be this like little purple tongue. Looks like a duck tongue or something. 
got another one of these guys, but in blue. Always repeats and stuff like this, but that's okay. They're really fun. This is also terribly interesting and sticky. All of these are so sticky. And this guy again, we've seen this guy, but he's great. <laughs> Just so silly. And this guy's kind of cool. The green is really stark and is really dark and germy-like. I wonder how many of these I can cram in this yellow thing. I wish if these had a screw lid, you could really cram them in there, but it's just gonna pop out. So you still like action figures? Well, this is your chance to have the Fungus Among Us action figure, one bio buster figure with six fun guys. This might be one of your best bets for collecting. You get a really funny guy plus six fun guy. Okay, we have the Bio Buster here, all in orange. Pretty simple little figure, articulation in the legs, and each arm can rotate. Kind of difficult to hold the uh, Bio Buster weapon he's holding, kind of fit his fingers in there, or just store it on his back. I was kind of hoping there'd be something inside this guy that you could like put one in and squish a character. I kind of thought that one might happen, but that's not happening. Uh, we have some more of these guys. Look, it's a Krang. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Krang, awesome. So similar. And we have a couple more repeats. I think this guy is ultra creepy. What is that? Wow. Man, some of these. And let's see a few more repeats again, but very, very squishy and very, very fun. I imagine. There you go, it takes some noodling, but oops, you can get these guys on this guy in a weird, funny, silly way. I wish these bottom hands could rotate around so you can kind of hold all the characters. Very squishy. Next up is the Fungus Among Us Super Bug container. Storage for all your fun guys. Okay, here we go. So now instead of cramming them all into this yellow Petri, we can squish them all in here, I hope. Looks pretty interesting. Holds four Petri dishes. Oh, this is kind of neat. This might be the other collection way to go. Pick up one of these packs plus four of the Petri dishes and you're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, the big guy in here, he's not as sticky as the others. He still is really squishy, but he can eat other characters. So that's pretty neat. You can just start squishing them in. And I imagine if you squish enough of them in, they'll start squishing themselves back out. So that's pretty clever and very grotesque, very orange on this guy. I think there was a yellow and a green uh, variant, so different versions to collect. And we'll take one of these Petri dishes, drop a couple in, squish it closed, pop it in. You can lock it shut. And so now you've got a pretty cool carrying case. So yeah, this is the way to go. I would totally suggest picking up one of these and a few dishes and then carry this anywhere you want to go and you've got Fungus Among Us. <sighs> now for the big guns, the Fungus Among Us, the Exterminator. You can totally tell I went crazy on this collection. Who needs Pretty Little Liars action figures anyways? This weapon looked totally unique. I had to see what it does, even beyond the making gross sounds. Catch and contain your fun guys, eh? It looks like we have three different features. You can trap them, squish them, and then fling them. Now that is weird. So this is the type of toy you go totally out for when you collect this sort of collection. Let's try to remove this from the packaging. I don't think it's gonna be that hard, will you? So now we have to trap some fungus. Let's get a couple more volunteers out, try to find the non-super sticky ones, and to trap a fungus, place one like so. Take your ex-germinator and place onto germ. Then begin ratcheting up this main lever. You can see the conveyor belt move. And if we got him, we got him, there he is. Your germ will then slowly move up the belt.
and eventually all land into this back chamber over here. To remove, slide out, and there are the fungus among us that you have caught. Pretty clever. There's also a little catapult on the back here for flinging. Simply rotate out. There's some nice grip there. Place one on the grip and fling away. Maybe not that guy, he's a little extra sticky. There we go. That works pretty well. That is totally weird and different and a fun accessory to your Fungus Among Us. Fungus Among Us appears on store shelves fall 2016 at most Toys R Us locations. There are many things you can collect with this series. You could stick with all the squishy minifigures, or you could go bigger with the Exterminator or the Biobusters. I would recommend the Toxic Chamber and a few of those Petri dishes again. That seems to be the best bang for your buck in playing around with squishy things. If you like fungus and germs and not getting sick, pick some of these up. Just don't place these inside your shoes. That would be pretty sticky. That's what I have to say about that. Ooh, gross. I am going to wash my hands now. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.